Hello, my friends, and welcome back. This uh, video has a um, subject that would definitely interest the British audience uh, a lot. And why am I saying that? I'm saying that because the British Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, he makes all kinds of vows to other countries that in case those countries have something to do with Russia, if you know what I mean, then you guys, the British government will get you to defend that country. It's laudable, I would say, but be prepared. Why am I saying this? You know the story from the Second World War when we had uh, Poland that was backed by, had an alliance with Great Britain and France and was negotiating with Germany about the Danzig, Danzig Corridor, the Gdansk. And the Poles were negotiating in, according to some people, in bad faith because they knew that Germany will not do anything and if Germany would do something, they don't have to uh, do anything because the British and the French will help them, which is exactly what happened. So they didn't have to make any con concessions to the Germans, which they didn't, even though th the area was populated about 90-some percent, 91% with Germans, right? It's okay, right? Now we have this scenario where we have Sweden and Great Britain gives assurances to Sweden that if Russia somehow gets angry or have a bad night at the bar or his the girlfriend did not provide something, you know what I mean? He's and attacks Sweden, you guys are gonna defend Sweden. So that means Sweden, you can do whatever you want, be as snotty as you want with Russia, because we're gonna intervene and we're gonna fight for you and with you, not with you, because it's going to happen the same thing as happened with uh, Poland, you know, fight with them, fight for them. What? Sweden has, what, 9 million population? I mean, be honest about it. And their cities are located in the southern part. I've been to Sweden. It's not that I'm an expert on anything, but just saying. And so this article comes from uh, Republic World from uh, May 12, 2022, by... Aporova Kaul. And this is the title. UK Prime Minister Johnson vows to defend Sweden against renewed threats as latter malls joining NATO. So who's going to defend? Glad, guys. I'm glad you, you, you're going to take it like that. So the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson signed Mutual Security Assurances Declaration with Swedish counterpart Magdalena Anderson to strengthen their security. Okay, good. In a key, in a key develop, development, the UK government has committed for you, my brothers, to support Sweden and Finland in the face of renewed threats as both the countries are looking on to join NATO. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson on Wednesday, May 11th, signed Mutual Security Assurance declarations with Swedish counterpart Magdalena Andersson in a bid to bolster their security and fortify Northern Europe defenses. Because they're always defending themselves from someone. They defended themselves from Yugoslavia, they defended themselves from uh, uh, Iraq, they defended themselves, all those are preemptive, preemptive, yeah. Uh, Syria and then uh, Libya and Afghanistan and wherever they need to be to defend themselves, they're going to go first somehow. You know, up is down, down is up, war is peace, peace is war. Yeah. Unbelievable. So, and we have here the def Europe's defenses. And I'm quoting right now. No, I'm not quoting. <laughs> that was for the Northern Europe defense, end of quote. It is to be noted that the development comes at the time when Sweden and Finland are confronting warnings from Russia regarding the country's prospects of joining NATO. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? You want to extend NATO? Isn't that why, what happened to, partly, what happened with Ukraine? 
because NATO wanted to expand. Wasn't that so what the Russians are supposed to say? Well, okay, I guess we lost uh, and we the security would just toss it in the garbage, right? It was about NATO expansion. Now you want to invite them over there, what do you think the Russians will do? So they want to drag Russians, I don't know how far. How far you want to drag the Russians? Until they use their uh, arsenal? You know what I mean, what kind of arsenal? And I'm quoting right now. The Prime Minister is signing historic declaration with Sweden and Finland today to reinforce their security, like Poland's, and fortify Northern Europe's defenses in the face of renewed threats, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson said in a statement. I'm glad, I'm glad. Guys, get ready. So, and it says here that uh, it's worth, uh, I'm quoting, it's worth emphasizing that if Sweden were attacked and looked to us <laughs> for help and support, then we would provide it. But it's up to Sweden to make the request and to spell out exactly what support is requested, Johnson said at a joint press conference with his Swedish counterpart, Magdalena Anderson. What we are saying empathetically is that the in the event of a disaster or in event of an attack upon Sweden by uh, uh, Russia, uh, we don't know who, then the UK would come to the assistance of Sweden with whatever Sweden requested. Prime Minister said, okay, free countries, they make their own decisions, they have their security threats, uh, security uh, um, um, requests, you know, that's good. They have their, com um, you know, um, concerns, security concerns, that was the word. Security, you know, good, but Russia has it too. So what are we going to do about it? Oh, we're not going to talk about it. Like we didn't talk with, with uh, Ukraine. So what are we going to do? We're going to get to another round two, dong, and three, dong, because it's Finland and Sweden. I'm telling you, my friends, that things are much deeper than we are allowed to really... It, it, it can be so dumb. It can't be so obvious. It can't be so... Maybe it is. Maybe we just expect that uh, those guys over there who handle us in a certain way, uh, you know, they're not capable. Maybe they are just over there to do something someone else is bidding. I don't know who's. Wink, wink. But it's it's the same the same scenario here. Same scenario. We're going to defend you. So that means you do whatever you want. You have a plan. Check right there. I'm not, as I said, independent countries. Was there anything about that with Sweden and with... Uh, Anyway, I don't have even to, to go back to, to Ukraine uh, BS here because it's just, uh, you know, it's, I'm upset because all this, I think, as I always say in my, not always, but in my uh, videos that could have been avoided or minimized, uh, minimized greatly. But I think I, my assessment is that things had to occur this way and will continue this way, and Russia has to be Russia from 1991 until 1999. That was the perfect Russia the international world order wants it to be. And Russia doesn't want to. Draw the conclusions. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. See you in a moment.